Good morning, Loadsters. It is day 27 of Load 215. So after today, we only have one day left. And I'm really pumped up creatively, but I'm also a little sad to be letting go of the daily drive to create. But I'm also glad that I can breathe a sigh of relief and maybe take... Uh, some time to do some longer projects. Uh, either way, I'm going to be documenting them all and I'm going to have a lot more stuff here. So if you're ever searching for inspiration, come and visit us here on ScrapperOnTheStreet.com because I will be happy to help. Um, so now let's get to today's prompt. We had to use the page starter Alice's Adventures in wherever. So I... Um, I went with the Wonderland route myself and I knew I had this photo from a couple of years ago with me and the Mad Hatter and then I just made it Disney's Mad Disney Adventure. Um, I changed up the words a bit but it's still a page I wouldn't have created exactly this way or told the story exactly this way if it wasn't for this prompt. Um, I really let myself get kind of whimsical with it. I used a lot of crazy colors, the purples and the greens together, and um, the star paper was from a Halloween set of paper, and I just went a little crazy with it, but I like how it turned out. Um, it is the Mad Hatter after all, it is Halloween time that this picture was taken, so a little bit of crazy is fine. I've been being on the circles lately, I don't know if you've noticed, so I have those scattered about, some popped up for dimension, added some wood veneer stars played with different letters for my title, and just a little journaling about meeting the Mad Hatter and what that experience is like. And it was a really fun page to put together. Um, every time I thought it was done, I added a different element or changed it up a bit. So it was really any, really a process um, as I got started, because it was like going to be a couple of circles, and it was popped up circles, and then it was the stars. Um, I thought about adding splatters, that still might happen, um, but there you have it, my mad Disney adventure, which is always ongoing, and it also shows a little bit that you don't have to use Disney products or Disney themed stuff to create Disney pages or any kind of event pages, you know, couldn't you could do birthday pages without using birthday paper and embellishments. You could use Christmas pages without it having to be Christmas papers and embellishments. So think outside of that box a little bit. As much as I love Simple Stories, Say Cheese Collection, both one and two, um, and they're very Disney looking and Disney centric, I know I could go outside that box and create fantastic pages that don't have that Disney look or character stickers on it. So that's my tip for you for today and I will see you all tomorrow for our last day of load. Have a great day everybody. Bye.